Hey there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know, I am. Today I've got five warm-up patterns that I'm going to show you. And uh, they start off, it starts off with a simple basic idea and then gradually gets more difficult as we go through the warm-up exercises. Uh, with this particular, um, these particular warm-up exercises, I've tried to, to not make them too difficult. So these should appeal to sort of, you know, from intermediate uh, players. Um, and uh, the idea is to just literally just take a simple pattern to start with and then gradually add to it uh, to make it uh, a bit more challenging as we gradually warm up. Um, the main focus here is the left hand, but we, you know, we really do have to coordinate um, both hands together as we're warming up because that's one of the main things, you know, regarding playing. Uh, that's one of the main things that, that players find uh, in order to warm up. You've got to you know, dial in the left and right hands and make sure, like I say, everything's coordinated. So, um, uh, I've pl I play these with what, uh, a basic um, sort of right hand pattern and I'm not, not thinking about that too much, uh, but you can apply, we can talk about it as we go on through each, each pattern, but you can apply lots of different um, patterns, right hand patterns to these warm up exercises. Anyway, um, I'm not digressing actually this time, I'm talking <laughs> a bit of sense for once. Uh, why don't we get straight to the first pattern. <laughs> Okay, so our first pattern, we're going to start here, fret seven. And we're just going to outline a major seven. Um, with a ninth added. I am actually playing it with hybrid picking, so I'm going down, hammer, hammer, middle, ring, middle, down, and then off. So that's, that's the first warm-up pattern. So I'd advise you to take it as slowly as possible and concentrate on all the various things that you need to concentrate on. But I find the slower that I play it, the more I can sort of multitask and concentrate on various different things at once. Um, so I always like to have, to, to have a visual reference here. So I'm either concentrating on my eyes on the left hand or the right hand or both. Because um, one habit guitarists tend to do is look up or anywhere but where they need to be looking. So you've got to remind yourself all the time not to do that. Because uh, we've got to make sure everything is working properly. Okay. Good. That's our first pattern. Now we come to the second pattern, so we're just going to gradually add more notes into each pattern as we move along, as we warm up as well, so it coincides with us warming, warming up. So our next pattern is... Okay, so nice and slowly. Okay, so one, how am I articulating that? Down, hammer, hammer, middle, ring, middle, down. Then a combination of hammers and, and pull-offs here. So. Okay, so it's a good idea to keep it in one, um, one tonal centre here around one chord. Um, so that you know how, because if I, if I change keys and everything else, it, it becomes a, a little bit less um, clear, you know. So that's our second position, second pattern. And all these patterns are loopable. Okay, try and keep everything uniform too, so... Um, uh, the volume of each note and also the tone of each note try and keep it uniform um, once you get it under control then you can start adding you know accents in wherever you want to okay so that is warm-up pattern number two <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, so pattern number three now. So we're continuing where we left off with pattern number two, but we're just uh, gonna sort of change things up slightly. So continuing with the same. But here, we're gonna hammer on to fret 11, then pull off to nine, then eight, and then descend through. back in to start it. Like I said before, all these are loopable. That's that's essentially why I've done this, so that you can just keep continuing it and make sure you've, you're focusing on control, relaxation, making sure you're getting everything nice and tight. So. Again. whatever picking pattern you want um, to articulate your way through these. Um, so yeah, do whatever you like. <laughs> okay, next warm-up pattern. So we're on to warm-up pattern number four. So we're gonna start where we left off last time. But this is where we're gonna change. We're gonna add this note here on fret eight of the third string. And we get this. So it's just a descending scale here. 11, nine, seven, 11, nine, a low eight. Okay, so that's that's pattern number four. Um, again, what I like to do is I like to have sort of relatively low gain uh, on this. I mean, you can you can do it whatever way you like, but I, that's the way I like to do it. Sort of relatively low gain, but enough so that when I do, if I'm doing left hand only, for instance, you know, it, it's it's just enough um, in terms of the gain added. Okay. Okie dokie, we come to the final pattern now. Um, and it's a little bit more extended and reaches onto the top E string. So let me play it nice and slowly. Okay, nice bit of chromaticism in there as well. So um, obviously this is the most challenging. So we're gonna continue as we did before. So that's the same as we did up, uh, up to in pattern number four. So we're gonna play this shape here. So it goes eight, 11, then onto the B. Nine, seven, 11, nine, seven. We're pulling off at the top there. And then we're going to just descend like this. Um, but it's the same shape, finger wise, four, two, one, four, two, one, four, two, one. And then we're back into the pattern here. So we get this chromatic part. Um, this might need a little bit of work getting the independence between the third. Sorry, the fourth, third, and second fingers, especially when pulling them off. But that's why I put these together. So let me just do it once more for you, nice and slowly. And then we can repeat. So yeah, a tune at the end. Anyway. I hope you've enjoyed these warm-up patterns and um, like I said before, 
speed is not uh, the main thing here. Take them nice and slowly. You can, you know, you can build up your speed, control uh, what you're doing, relax, breathe properly. Try and get the left hand and the right hand as well coordinated as you can, because um, these are. This is about warming up, you know. So, so that's the, that's the main focus, the, the the main priority here. Okay, just a heads up. Um, the sale is still on at my website. Still 50% off. It's a great way to support what I do. So. Um, Thank you for everybody that uh, has bought stuff on my website thus far. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will catch up with you in the next video. <laughs> All right, cheers guys.